Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Now before I get into this video, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Awaken Darkness. My gosh, you just helped me with so many more video ideas you, you don't even understand, man. So, I'm probably going to link his channel in the, in the comments or the description, either or. But huge shout out, thanks man, because I was really having a darn brain fart and you just, you just juiced up my brain with ideas. So thanks, man. All right. So the title of this video, as you guys see, are games just destroyed by wanting variety or change of of sorts. And I've got three games that I'm really going to talk about because of this. And that's Destiny, Destiny 2, I mean, Call of Duty, and Halo. So let's get into this, shall we? I'm going to start off with Destiny 2. Now... Destiny has been a series that people have been iffy about for um, for different reasons. But the community that it had was a pretty loyal and strong community. Like, the community really loved the game and appreciated what the game had to offer. And even though the game had pretty scummy things that it would do, they still, they still supported it, which was... Which is understandable and respectful because when someone loves something, they're going to, they're going to fight for it. They're going to support it through and through, right? But in the case of uh, <laughs> Destiny Two, that it was just an absolute insult to what the first game was. It lost essentially all of its player base within. The first two to three weeks of its release, and it was due to one factor, and this being the video topic of change, which was the weapon system. That was the main factor, and really just the sake of wanting balance for their PvP, but that balance affected everything it didn't just affect the pvp like it should have it affected the pve it affected the movement speed it affected the weapons themselves everything at the initial release of destiny 2 felt so unbelievably underpowered that no one and i mean no one seriously wanted to play this game everyone left within weeks because of the changes that Bungie implemented because they wanted a balanced, if you could call it that, a balanced PvP. And this really just hits at the idea that for the sake of variety, a company is willing to sacrifice the player base that it has amassed simply because it would be more beneficial towards a game mode that could possibly, not guaranteed, but possibly get them more income. Cough Esports. Now, let's get into Call of Duty, and this might this one is going to be a bit long. Pause, because it's COD, and people know what to expect from COD. So, Call of Duty was a game known worldwide for simple yet solid and addictive shooting mechanics, but was destroyed by jetpacks and too much futuristic weapon weaponry bullcrap in the microtransactions. Now, I want to talk about Call of Duty a bit because it's one of those games where certain... Certain implementations of the futuristic aspect wasn't terrible, but the later games, ooh, ooh, ooh man, we, we don't even like to talk about those, those just didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm just going to say that Call of Duty up to Black Ops 2, like Black Ops 2 was like when they first implemented a bit of futurism, futuristicism, well, I don't, whatever, you, you know what I mean. And the issue with that is, uh, after Black Ops 2, they just went overboard. 
You see, Black Ops 2 was actually, was actually a one of the most successful Call of Duties of all time, even though it had futuristic. So when people say that we don't want futuristic Call of Duties, I think they mean we don't. We just don't want it overdone. But after Black Ops 2, Activision was like, you know what? Let's just have, let's just have um, Call of Duty be a freaking jetpack fantasy realm. And I want to say that in throughout this video, when I'm talking about these three different games. What I think the developers have done is, instead of accepting the legacy that these games have, the developers themselves got a bit bored of uh, the typical design of their games, and they wanted to try something new. But the problem with that isn't that we got mad because they tried something new. It's that they tried something new at the sake of something that wasn't broken. You see, like, despite people what people say about Call of Duty, I don't honestly think that anyone wants Call of Duty to just die. We just want it to be known as a game that's just chill, solid, and we can come to it and just dick around, you know? But as of now, we've had, uh, after Black Ops 2, let me, let me think, I, I don't like bringing up these... PTSD memories, but I'll, I'll try for you guys. Um, Advanced Warfare. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I, I almost threw up. Um, what what was after that? And Ghost. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. In 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 Infinite Warfare, or like Infinite Disaster. And then we had Black Ops 3, that was relatively solid, and then we had BO4, lol. I'm not even going to talk about World War 2 because I'm talking about futuristic design. But what I'm trying to say here is, uh, for the sake of change, they were willing to destroy the legacy of COD. You see, COD was a game known for the simple on-boots, run around, run and gun, combat, but because a few people wanted something different, the entire franchise itself got screwed. That's essentially the thing that I'm trying to get at in this video. The entire franchise just got screwed, and now it's known as a jetpack fantasy world where you can just fly high in the sky. And I get that maybe that's what they're not trying to do now, but just remember, just remember Black Ops 4, Black Ops 4, before people just destroyed it and attacked it for, like, trying to copy Overwatch. It was designed around the jetpacks, so before anyone tries me with Black Ops 4, it was designed around the jetpacks, so yeah. Last but not least, Halo. Now, some people have just dropped Halo altogether, and at the mention of the name Halo, they burst into laughter. But Halo, a previous look into Halo, we see that these older games, it's it's pretty obvious to see why people have left, especially at, I think it was, 3 was when people really started to begin to leave, but 4 and 5 just, just killed it, and I don't even really play Halo that much. But when you look at the previous one, when you look at previous titles compared to new titles, it's easy to see why. Like, if you guys don't know, like, the competitive scene of Halo is still very much alive, but people honestly prefer to play the older older titles. Like, Combat Evolved. Combat Evolved, the game that came out how long ago on the, on the computer, I don't even know. But Combat Evolved, something that I literally played on my computer in high school because it was just that popular and people downloaded it and still played it to this day with many servers, still gets more people than 4 and 5 combined. The thing about when a, a, a company wants to 
to start making something new is it's risky. So what they do is they try and change the game completely but keep it keep it similar enough to the point where they can still call it a Halo or a Call of Duty or a Destiny. But in reality, the entire way that you play the game has been changed and it just doesn't feel like it anymore. And what I call this is I call this fear to where the, 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 the developers or the company itself, they just don't want to start something new. They don't want to make a new IP. So instead, they just completely do whatever they want with the franchise because they're like, well, it's Call of Duty, so people are going to buy it, right? But that's not how that works. Okay, we, we, we play the games because we enjoy the games. If you take the game and destroy what we enjoy about it, no one's going to play the game, which is something that these companies are starting to pick up on. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to get across with this video is variety is good. Change is good. But do not ruin the legacy of a game due to to variety. You get it? Heck, I might even know. I might. I know this is off topic, but I might even just start talking about um, Marvel comics because if you guys don't know, oh my gosh, the state that Marvel is in, SJW bullcrap compared to the legacy that the comics were. It's it's pretty disheartening. But um, that's that's the issue with games as well. For the sake of variety, air quotes. And wanting to try new IPs without actually making new IPs, they screw up entire games. They screw up the legacy of games. And I that doesn't leave anyone happy. The developers can't really get paid because they didn't make a lot of money from the sales. The publishers get mad because they wanted to make a whole bunch of money. And we get mad because we can't play a good game. Ah, that was a good that was a good topic. I really I was really feeling that one. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and once again, huge shout out to Awaken Darkness because, like I said, that you really sparked my uh, mind with that video idea, and I really wanted to talk about that. So I hope you all enjoyed. As always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you want to see in the future in the comments below. If you would like to subscribe, please hit subscribe and the notification bell because YouTube is broken. But since 2019 is on the corner, let's hope that they can fix that bug that has been present for months. Just saying. Okay, please stop by in my amino if you would like to ask me anything, video requests. And I will see all of you in the next video. Take care.